Welcome to MathCast Edition 1, where we'll be looking at the use of a multiplication array. So a multiplication array is a method of multiplying two numbers together that connects a physical area model to the operation. One of its strengths is that it allows us to work with numbers in a multiplication problem that are more suitable for mental calculation. So. It's a powerful concept that can be extended to solve more complex problems, as you will see in the following math casts, especially when combined with the algae tiles. Multiplication arrays are also excellent tools for multiplying fractions. So here's how it works. I have 12 times 14 equals 168. We know this to be true. We can check it on a calculator if we need to. What I'd like to do is I'd like to break down the 12 into 10 plus 2 and break down the 14 into 10 plus 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the components or the pieces here together and when we build the whole package together we should find out if it comes out to be 168. So 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 2 is 20. 4 times 10 is 40, and lastly, 4 times 2 is 8. When we sum those pieces up, 100 plus 40 plus 20 plus 8 equals 168. We'll try the same example again, only I'll use different numbers. So instead of 10 and 2, I'm going to use 8 plus 4 to represent the 12, and I'll leave the 10 plus 4 as the other dimension alone. 10 times 8 is 80. 10 times 4 is 40. 4 times 8, 32. And lastly, 4 times 4, 16. If we add all of those together, 80 plus 40 plus 32 plus 16, I get 168 again. We can go to even smaller divisions. If I break the 12 up into 5 plus 5 plus 2 and the 14 into 5 plus 5 plus 4, I have more areas to calculate, but the numbers are smaller and a little easier to do. 5 times 5 is 25. I can repeat that several times. 5 times 2 is 10. And now because I have the exact same line below, I can just copy those calculations in just like so. And then lastly, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 5 again is 20, and 4 times 2 is 8. A little bit more addition required for this, but when we look at the final result, we add up all of these pieces together, we still get 168. My final example, and this is a little more challenging, but we can use 15 plus negative 3 to represent 12 and 15 plus negative 1 to represent 14. So 15 times 15 in the upper corner here gives me 225. Now here's where things get a little bit different. 15 times negative 3 is negative 45 and I will use red to represent negative. Negative 1 times 15 is negative 15 and negative 1 times negative 3, so two negatives multiplied together, give me a positive 3. So when I sum those terms up, 225 plus 3 minus 45 minus 15, again I come up with 168. So at this time, why don't you pause the video and break up 16 times 22 into divisions of your own choice. 10 and 6, 20 and 2, whatever you would like to try, and see what you get for a result. All right, I broke mine up into 10 plus 6 to represent the 16, and 20 plus 2 to represent the 22. So 20 times 10 is 200. 20 times 6 is 120. 2 times 10 is 20. And lastly, 2 times 6 is 12. When I add all of those up, I get the same result of 352. So thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, or concerns, 
please send an email to childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thanks for listening.